The Good Dinosaur is about how it's it's kind of like a, a you kind of grow up with this this little boy who is you know pretty much scared of everything in the world, and it's basically the movie is you're growing up with him and his and him growing up as a as a person and being more courageous and brave and uh, throughout the movie and just you know being a more grown up person than he was in the beginning, and that's what the main movie is about. He's a dinosaur who he basically he's throughout the movie you kind of get to know him a little bit better of from his fa from his father's point he was shy at the beginning and kind of scared of kind of scared of everything and I mean everything S noises <laughs> he's one of those kids that just turns when you hear a sound so uh, or dinosaur in this case but yeah so he the movie the, Arlo is a scared cat but he grows into be more of, of a mature kid. Mama, he, he he loves Mama. Mama is like his, his he, him and his father. He loves his mama and he loves his father. He they're like super close to him. He, he it's everything to him, as well as Libby. He, he he has the same feelings as he is. And then Buck and then Buck. He's the he's the everyday brother. He's the brother that's always picking on the on the little brother. And but it's it's the fun love. It's not you know the hatred love. It's the fun love that's always you know picking on him. But it's it's in a fun way that they're doing it. So. Yeah, that's that's their relationships with everyone. Spot to me, he he's like a, he's like a dog, and it's like a dog during during the 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 dinosaur age. You know, he he was a uh, he he acts like a dog all the time. He he's on his four legs. He doesn't walk. He's not like a human that that walks. He looks like a dog with his shaggy hair, but he is a human. He is a human, and that's what I found really interesting about Spot. He is one of the coolest guys and nicest guys you'll ever meet. And for me, I, like I said, I've seen pretty much every Pixar movie. And Monsters University, I didn't know this, but he was squishy in the movie. And I was like, hey, that's awesome. I was like, I want to be like you, man. And uh, yeah, but it's, it's, it's awesome working with him because when he helps me in the lines, he tries to help me as much as he can. So like, if he's like, you know, I need you to laugh, he's not like, hey, I need, I need you to laugh. He's like, I need you to laugh, and I need you to do it like this. And he gives me kind of an instance, of, of a reference of what to do. So he's, he's kind of, and he's also, he's a really nice guy that you can just really talk to. And he's not like that, you know, oh my, oh, that's my director right there. You know, I have to be really, like, professional around him. He's really, like, just a down-to-earth guy. And a really, he's, he's really calm and he's really cool. And he doesn't get angry and he's always, he's always like, you know, do you need breaks? He's the guy like, hey, you know, this, do you need a five-minute break to rest your voice? And he's he very he cares about who he's working with, and that's what I love the most about him, and his awesomeness. I think grown ups and I, uh, kids are gonna love the, the the you know ooh dinosaurs and you know oh this this is all this cool stuff, but for for more mature people it's gonna be cool for them to watch it as well as you is because you can you can appreciate how much hard work was put in this movie because all pictures movie have extremely detailed and hard work. You can't just put away, like a movie where you film live action, you know, there's no animation. Pe there's hundreds of people that are working on one movie just so you can get all the animation correct. You, they all look really cool in the movie. And I think that's what's gonna appreciate it. And plus, yeah, I, like I said, it's a great family film to, to take your kids and your family, or if you just wanna go by yourself and eat some popcorn, you can do that as well.